What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Pokemon Unite video. In this video I'm going to show you how to play Cardevoir effectively in Pokemon Unite, what skills to pick and what items to use. Let's take a look. Cardevoir is a ranged attacker that deals massive amounts of damage from the back lines. Because of the way we are going to build our Gardevoir, it has the ability to KO enemies that you don't even see on your screen. So first, let's take a look at the item build I recommend you to use. Gardevoir does special damage, so we are going to focus on boosting our damage as much as we can. So the first item we will pick is Wise Glasses. It increases the damage of your special attacks, making you hit harder with your skills. The second item you should use is Shell Bell. It increases your special attack and you gain health every time you hit with a move. Your cooldowns are also slightly reduced. And the third item is Special Attack Specs that increases your special attack and further increases it when you score goals. You could switch out Special Attack Specs for Energy Amplifier. Energy Amplifier boosts your attack and special attack after you use your Unite move. It also increases your Aeos energy gathering rate and slightly reduces cooldowns of your skills. So if you feel like that you are good at clearing neutral Pokemon, consider picking energy amplifier so you can use your Unite move more often. For the battle item you should use Aeg Button or X Speed. Aeg Button will allow you quick escapes or sneaky scoring, and so does X Speed. X speed increases your movement speed for a short time and prevents it being decreased allowing you to chase enemies or get away. Use the one that suits your playstyle better. So now we have our items, let's take a look at the skills. Gardevoir's passive ability is synchronized. It mirrors any received slows and damage over time hindrances back at the attacker. So when enemy Pokemon slows you, they are also slowed so it's pretty darn good passive to have. Also, every third attack you make deals area damage and reduces the special defense of all opponents hit. The level 1 skills are Confusion which shoots Psychic Blast on a long line and Teleport that works like Egg Button, it teleports you to desired location and boosts your next basic attack. From these you should pick Confusion first, it allows slightly faster clearing for the first neutral Pokemon. The level 6 skills are Psyshock that shoots 3 Blast straight forward to an area that damages enemies and each hit reduces this move's cooldown and Future Sight that sets a delayed explosion that once again if hit reduces this move's cooldown. When you upgrade Psyshock it does increase damage and when you upgrade Future Sight it makes it have instant cooldown on hit. And from these we are going to pick Future Sight. Future Sight does incredible amounts of damage and also forces enemy Pokemon to move away from the explosion area. And when enemy Pokemon moves, it of course cannot attack you but instead wastes valuable time by running away. The level 8 skills are Psychic and Moon Blast. Psychic shoots a ball of energy that explodes when it reaches its range or upon impact slowing opponents in the area. When upgraded it will have reduced cooldown. Moon Blast makes you leap back and throws a blast of psychic energy that stuns the first opponent it hits and damages others in a cone. And when upgraded, it will also grant you a shield. And from these skills we are going to pick Moon Blast. Because of the stun from the Moon Blast you can easily hit the enemy with Future Sight dealing tons of damage and resetting the cooldown of your Future Sight so you can shoot it again immediately. However, Psychic isn't that bad either, because of its low that also makes aiming your future sight easier, so you could pick either one of these. I just happen to prefer the small stun from the Moon Blast over the slowing effect from Psychic. The level 9 Unite move is Fairy Singularity. It creates an area that draws enemy Pokemon to its center and then deals damage and displaces them. It's a very good Unite move because it can group enemies together for your teammates to AoE burst them down. And that's all there is to it. Overall Cardivore is a nice addition to the current roster of playable Pokemon and feels different in the right way. 
It requires some practice to get your future sights to hit, but when mastered it will be devastating and will force your opponents to think carefully which direction they move. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Unite content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
Three, go! Three, two, one! Time's up! You win!